The impact of World War II on the global stage is well documented. But one of the more nuanced facets of the war's influence lies in the transformation of local cultures and societies. The Hawaiian Islands during the 1940s present a fascinating case study of this phenomenon, specifically in how military culture fostered a greater emphasis on masculine traits and sexuality. This cultural shift led to the proliferation of new entertainment venues such as bars and brothels, reshaping the social fabric of Hawaii. With the onset of World War II, Hawaii became a strategic military hub for the United States. Thousands of servicemen were stationed on the islands, significantly altering the local demographic landscape. Along with the soldiers came a pronounced military culture, placing a premium on masculine traits such as strength, bravery, and confidence. The military's emphasis on masculinity permeated local culture. It influenced not only the servicemen themselves but also the civilian population, which found itself adapting to the norms and expectations of a more militarized society. This newfound focus on masculinity manifested itself in various ways, from fashion and language to entertainment preferences. The military presence brought economic prosperity, but it also gave rise to an entertainment industry catering specifically to the desires and expectations of the servicemen. Bars, nightclubs, and brothels proliferated, becoming symbols of the new, more masculine era. Hawaii offered military men a glimpse of sexual freedom that was free from the boundaries of normal social rules back home. This escape from the constraints of traditional societal expectations was both liberating and complex. It allowed servicemen to explore aspects of their sexuality and masculinity in ways that would have been taboo or restricted on the mainland. This newfound freedom had a profound psychological impact, leading some men to reevaluate their views on sexuality, relationships, and personal identity. Hotel Street, located in Honolulu's Chinatown, became the epicenter of the entertainment industry geared towards the servicemen. This bustling street was lined with bars, nightclubs, and brothels, creating a vibrant nightlife that was unlike anything else in Hawaii at the time. The culture of Hotel Street was both exhilarating and provocative. It was a place where men could let loose, away from the watchful eyes of their superiors and the moral codes of their hometowns. The atmosphere was charged with a sense of excitement and adventure, and many servicemen felt drawn to the allure of the exotic and the unknown. The entertainment venues on Hotel Street catered to the tastes and desires of the military men, providing them with an outlet for their pent-up energy and frustrations. Live music, dancing, and alcohol flowed freely, and the environment was designed to make the men feel comfortable and uninhibited. At the same time, Hotel Street also offered a sense of community and camaraderie. Many of the servicemen were far from home and facing the uncertainties and dangers of war. Hotel Street became a place where they could connect with others in similar situations, forming bonds of friendship and mutual understanding. One of the most prominent aspects of Hotel Street culture was the Red Light District. During the war, there were approximately 250 prostitutes registered with the Honolulu Police Department, and many more who were unregistered. The brothels were located in a small area of Hotel Street. The women who worked in the brothels were of all races, but the majority were white. They were recruited from the mainland United States and paid a fee to the Honolulu Police Department for their license. In addition to the brothels, Hotel Street was also home to a number of bars and nightclubs. These establishments were popular with soldiers and sailors looking for a good time. The bars often featured live music and dancing, and the nightclubs were known for their gambling and prostitution. Hotel Street was also a major shopping district, with a variety of stores selling souvenirs, clothing, and other goods popular with tourists. The legacy of Hotel Street during World War II in Hawaii is an example of how war can reshape personal boundaries and societal norms. For the servicemen stationed there, it was a place of liberation from the restrictions and taboos they faced back home, allowing them to explore aspects of their sexuality and masculinity that were otherwise off-limits. This escape wasn't just a fleeting diversion. It had a lasting psychological impact on many leading them to re-evaluate their understanding of relationships, personal identity, and even their own desires.
The growth of bars, nightclubs, and brothels, driven by the military's presence, mirrors this complex transformation, providing a vivid snapshot of how war can not only change the landscape of a place, but also the inner lives of those who live through it. Hawaii's experience during the 1940s continues to resonate today, reminding us that the effects of war go far beyond the battlefield, reaching deep into the very fabric of society and the human psyche. All the boys, two for two.
all the boys food for two. All the boys, food for two.
all the boys. Foo for two. All the boys, foo for two. Much obliged you hopped on board for this snazzy trip through American life in the 1940s and 1950s, all captured through nifty vintage photographs. If this flick's got your motor running, don't be a square. Click on that jolly bucket of bolts to subscribe to the channel for more top drawer content just like this. Thank <laughs> you.